All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for another edition of Grixis Discard. We played this deck yesterday, and it felt really good. Um, and so I wanted to try it again, because uh, I think this deck has a lot of potential in the metagame. So if you missed yesterday's video, um, you should check that one out also. And I think we're going to go ahead and kind of get on in here. Hey, Steve-O. Yeah, catching the end of the stream. We got one more deck today. We've had a, a fast day. We've played a lot of, lot of different decks. We've played best of one some, so we've been having a quick day like that, and then a couple decks go 0-2. Um, yeah, let's go. we're going to go ahead and squeeze one more deck in here for tonight. Grixis Discard. Had a lot of fun playing this deck yesterday. And I want to have some more practice with it because I, I'm i not sure exactly what I want to do in the um, in the Soul Tide matchup. I think that's kind of a hard, uh, a hard matchup to really um, sideboard for and everything. So at first I didn't see this Drowned Catacomb. I thought we had all blue red lands and I was sad. Ritual set should be pretty good. So the Doom Whisper is like Doom Whisper is a card that um, it's a card that's not amazing against uh, removal heavy decks, um, especially how we don't have very many other threats. But it is good against these aggro decks. And and it, it's honestly it's a card I'd kind of like two of, but I'm playing the third Angrath over the the second Doom Whisper because I, I do think that An Angrath is kind of a better card for us. All right, so yeah, getting rid of the Adanto Vanguard because I don't have anything to deal with that for now. And now we can take like History Banalia. Maybe even Luxodon. Not to worry about Tribunal. I don't think so. Let's take let's take history. Alright, so next turn I ritual. Oh, opponent, why don't you attack with Snubhorn and flip the landing? Opponent could have flipped the landing. The Bodyguard was their first card that they played, so it didn't actually protect anything. I'm just going upstairs. I'm just, I'm just getting rid of this hand. You know, like they only have one mana. Um, <laughs> they discarded the snub horn. I guess the snub doesn't really do a whole lot. Yeah, I'm just attacking this hand and and making it harder for them to conquer. No the fire, Mangra. no steel. Critical Role. What's Critical Role? Is that a is that a show? No fire. No, no fire. Steel. No, do not. Well, I guess I'm I'm not gonna have eight mana, so I'm not gonna shock in here. So I guess I won't have the mana to. To activate Escanta, so. And they finally would have been able to Conclave Tribunal. Then 
then we're gonna gonna be able to ultimate the anger out the next turn. Okay, it's a Twitch D and D stream. Gotcha. All right, beat the opponent so bad they did not even want to try a game two. All right, it's program's laggy again. It's been more laggy today with uh, after the update, but let's go ahead and reset it. Want to know? Gotcha. The best D and D show out there. All right, Grixis discard starting off with a win. Ugh. I'm actually kind of liking just going random. Well, that was weird though. That just went from Vivian to Liliana there. And my and our opponent just went from Teferi to Karn. Hey, Castro with that sub for the 13th month. Thank you, Castro. You are amazing. And Rowell also getting on that hype also. So that is sub number 16 on the day. That's, of course, getting some more hype votes in the channel. So if you're a sub to the channel, throw out some hype votes for our subs, Castro and Rowell. Want to show some support to our returning, to new and returning subs here. So we have 97 there. We certainly have a, a hand that doesn't affect the battlefield too much, uh, which is a problem. Because There we go. That's a card that affects the battlefield. Because, you know, like we're going to be taking damage from these creatures, so... Just playing the disinformation campaign here. I think we need to just kind of draw more things. And we'll get rid of one of these two. I'm sure they're both good. You know, it's a, a shock or, you know, something else. Yeah. Or a wizard's lightning. So now we drew the fourth land. Can we find Ritual of Sit? No. Okay. Cyborg time. So against them, I want uh, the duresses and the negates and the cry and the soot um, and the thieves. I think that's probably too much. Um, All the rituals and cries and thieves are kind of weird. Let's take out the cries. Okay. Now, now I don't want four thought erasure to dura to duress. So, um, I guess thought erasure is probably better. And then I'm gonna trim a discovery and trim an angrath and. I just go three thief. Yeah, three thief. The first campaign 
had 122 episodes and each were three plus hours long. Whoa. That is a long... That is a long binge watch for sure. I kind of don't like ever cutting search. Um, I, I don't expect... Yeah, you know, I could be wrong here, but I don't expect Cry to do as much. Um, post board. I could see them trimming their creatures and having more spells and stuff. And there's there's just not a whole lot of creatures that it kills. And we already have like the Ritual of Soot. I like keeping Ritual of Soot in though because of uh, Chain Whirler, but maybe that's not right. I mean, and then also, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, uh, Steam King. Steam King gets bigger than Cry also. Ah, they do have Chain Whirler. I was, I was gonna say maybe that's not right because maybe they don't have Chain Whirler in their deck, but. Sure looks like they do. I don't want them to vein fire my nickel bolus, but I can't really stop them from doing that. Never mind. I'll let them I'll let them do it. Still take a take a card, likely a land, and because uh, then they they vein fire for a bunch. And then I play Thieves Andy with Negate. Game three, I like Cry of the Carnarium on the draw more than on the play. Because I feel like on the when I'm on the play, um, I feel like we have the the time for Ritual of Sin. On the draw, I like Cry of the Carnarium more. And I'm, I'm going to be bringing it back in. Yeah, our opponent's all about that Banefire life. Yeah, it just doesn't seem necessary for red deck wins. Like, whenever they're winning, I don't, I don't think Banefire is going to help them too much. All right, so what do I think about Thief? Like, maybe Thief's not so good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually pretty comfortable with this. I guess I could get rid of one search. Here on the draw, play the fourth discovery over that. I'll play one duress. Yeah, their red deck would want to stay low, yes, and, yeah. Oh, really? So XX was, the XX were uh, really good live? I 
All shock lands, no. This pyromancer's dealing four damage to us. Play another creature. Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler. Ooh, Steamkin. Steamkin would be nice. I'll take a Steamkin. Uh-oh. The whole no creature is a really bad luck for us right about now. Because that means they just have a bunch of burn spells. But I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Ooh, Steam Kit. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, down to 10. Down to 4. is bad. I think I think I should not have I think my my big mistake here was um Yeah, I think my my biggest mistake was casting the thought erasure and not just holding up negate. I think I should have like with the 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 steamkin um I think I should have just coiled the Steamkin and shocked and held up Negate. Or just not shocked. Just coiled. Just coil pass. Would have worked too. Whoops. Not one. Not two. Oh, one and one. Deck, what are these hands? I mean, I guess. One land, no land, one land. <laughs> yep, we're playing zero lands again. Double black. Get rid of that. So I do want to hit land drops, but obviously if they play like a Vivian in two turns. I'll regret not having that bedevil, but it's just not guaranteed that I would have the that I'd have the mana for the bedevil. Also. So it's unlikely that we get to dodge Vivian this turn, but I really hope we do. With our opponent not having anything else, it's like, oh, they don't have one. I was going to say, with them not having anything else, it's just so likely that they have Vivian. Vraska. I will take that card. Uh, 
So find, find, Chupacabra. We can beat those. Hopefully draw land. To be able to discover also. Nope. Seriously? Where's the land? So we're going down to five. I think we can be at five. Whoa! Bari Raiders? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need to be a lot more worried about my life total if they're just throwing around a bunch of Golgari Raiders. Nice. Two five one finishes with the Singleton deck. Awesome. Let's exile these things. Tell these stupid fine finalities they're not doing anything. So the opponent hasn't seen any more than just like the one disinformation campaign, you know, so they, they probably just think that we just have the one disinformation campaign that we're like picking up and putting down. So absolutely love that that got trophied, of course. I think we're going to win this. They have the Chupacabra they can find back. That Thought Erasure on the Vrasco is obviously crucial. Yeah, we were pretty fortunate our opponent just had every single one of their find finalities. You know, like they had all three. And just not many creatures. Mold of five is looking bad. Ugh. We missed our third land drop. We just had Sulfur Falls, Sulfur, Sulfur Falls, Sulfur Falls, first two turns. Coil, coiling the Lanoir Elf turned out to be really big because if I didn't coil the Lanoir Elf, they would have been able to play the Vraska before my. Uh, thought erasure. So that ended up being a really big play. I think a lot of people would have just like conceded our game earlier when we didn't play a, a uh, third land and our opponent had Lanwar Elf and Branch Walker and stuff. But you just kind of keep playing. All right, so I'm playing Campaign and Bolus here. But I think our opponent just disconnected. I don't know if they were upset and disconnected or if it was just uh, some other disconnect. Mardu glass.
Well, both of our wins this league. Both of our wins this league have been in game one, our opponent conceding the match. So I guess people don't like playing against this deck. I'm getting the Mardu class. Deck uploading. I kind of steam vents. Okay, we're playing against Gates, <clears throat> and we have a handful of removal. Um, pretty bad hand for this matchup. And draw another removal spell, not what we want. So we're looking for our disinformation campaigns. You know, Thought Erasures, Discoveries, Angrats. Anything like that. Alright, Coil did something, that's good. Ritual Soot can kill a big Krasis, so we can kind of save that. Another Sheep, another Ram. Go ahead, play another Ram. Dang. That's a good card. Seriously? Rude as heck. Taking my bolus. Yeah, I've talked about it a few times with the, the Nexus band, best of one. Um, I don't really have any strong... I don't play very much best of one. I don't have like a strong... Uh, like unless somebody donates for me to play best of one. So I don't, I don't really have any strong feelings about it. Um, I, I'm not a, really a fan of the card, so I, I don't miss it at all. There we go. That's a good start. We'll see if they play another Krasis. Oh man, keep those. Yes, please. Talk about things that kill a crisis uh, efficiently. That would be Angrath. All right, so with two of them out there, I'm gonna just go ahead and ritual of set and disinformation campaign here. I'm gonna campaign first, of course. Because uh, you want, when your opponent's making a decision like discard, discarding a card, you want them to have the least information possible, and so I, I don't want them to have the information that their Grace Eye are about to die. Um, you know, whenever they're making their decision, so they don't know, they don't know that. All right. 
That's fine. You still did a pretty good campaign. Good job. You know, we really don't want them to draw the blue enchantment. Guild Summit. As long as they don't draw Guild Summit. We're pretty good. Seriously? You just have Guild Summit? Seriously? That makes my life a little worse. What happens if you Angrath your own creature? Like, let's say I cast this mass manipulation. I'm gonna. I'll just, just gonna play the bullets here. But like, what if? What if I minus three, or like what if they mass manipulation my bolus, and then I minus three and graph it? Does it go back to them? Or does it just go back to the owner? Devil, why aren't you contempt? You're no fire, no steel. I don't know, it just says gain control of target creature until end of turn. That was such a such a good draw for them. Draw a gate that, that draws them into a circuitous route. Draws them two cards. They just got five cards this turn. Four cards. They got four cards. Yeah, Guild Summit is just incredible. It's the card that I can't really deal with. Your crew for my. I mean, we just have to take the ram. It's just too big. This Angrath's gonna would die to the Knight of Autumn anyway. Might as well just. Play the new Here one. You know, I just no want to fire, get rid of the cards no in steel. their hand. And as I said earlier, it was like that I just hope they didn't have Guild Summit, and they did. Shiver my horns and hammer. No fire. No steel. I'm really glad that they weren't putting the Gate Colossus back on top. For a while there. No fire, no steel. <laughs> no, there's not a deck that people don't hate. <laughs> no fire, no steel. Another guild summit. 
I mean, that's a, that's the reason to hold on to that thought erasure. Yeah, I think it's steel as an S T E E L. Would be my assumption. Alright, so... We need the Thief of Sanities and Unward Egos here. Ritual Cry, come on out. Negates, duresses, disdainful strokes, all that kind of stuff. Sound good. I mean, I guess Ritual sets not the worst against Krasis and Rams. Um... We did get to coil some rams earlier, but it's not it's not necessarily likely that we get to coil rams. Um, but yeah, I need I need ego for guild summit. Um, certainly want that, and also just taking the eight eights that keep coming back. That's the other thing that we can take there. This is sixty nine cards, and I kind of like all these cards. So what are we what are we not playing like? Am I just not going to play Lava Coils? Um, I mean, I guess I don't really like Lava Coils that much, but then it's it's kind of hard for us to kill Rams without Lava Coils. Yeah, Thief is good against Gates, I think. I, I like Thief quite a bit here. Um, so we have five removal spells in, but with Bedevil and Contempt. That's just not enough, really. Doom Whisperer can go. That, that one's pretty slow and can get outclassed. Um, but I guess I guess these kill the, the other things also. I need to get rid of four cards. Am I just getting rid of Campaign? Um... I'm just cutting the campaign because I got to cut something, and they're playing. Uh, you know, they're playing like those Knight of Autumns. I don't know. Campaign's a perfectly fine card, but I just have to cut something, and I, you know, I have like ten seconds to think of something, so I'm just cutting it. I don't think I can go any lower on removal, honestly. I, so, like, Bedevil, I just, you know, I don't have very much removal in right now. And I don't think I can go any lower. Um, yeah, pretty worried about that. I could see just cutting, like, if I cut Discoveries, um, then Disinformation Campaign is pretty bad without the Discoveries. I think I want both of these. I certainly want the Thought Erasure. Um, I think I want the fifth land also. I think I just want the land also, because once you have Thief of Sandy, you want hit land drop, so. so. The next turn, I'm going to go Thought Erasure and hold up Disdainful Stroke. I guess I should Thought Erasure here first, so I have more inf information about what to get. But that's a pretty easy one. Because we, the lands don't do anything. What is going on here? Arena, work! Work. Ok, 
Okay. Guild Summit, Colossus, Mass Manipulation. So easy Guild Summit. Yeah, I like I like Thief of Sandy's power level. I think it would be I think it may be too strong um, if you were able to play lands from Thief of Sandy. Honestly, I like I like its power level exactly where it's at right right here. Well, I can take Crushing Canopy and be able to destroy a Guild Summit, but we've already gotten rid of two Guild Summits. So expansion's like the easy one. Yeah, I'll just... I don't know. I don't know, like, they have, like, Guild Summit that I need to destroy, and they, they could also have, like, Krasis. Hmm. So I can Thought Erasure plus Expansion it. Whoa. Uh, I guess I can't Expansion it. deal with this ram. I do need another land. Like, I need to be able to contempt and have negate. Because I don't really necessarily need negate. go. Alright, got something for the ram. We're, we're all good now. So I like Circuitous Route more as a card. Um, but I want to just get the Gate Colossus out of there so they can't return it back, you know, so they can't put it back on top and stuff. Just slowly milling them out. So if they draw explosion, they can explosion for four. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me?
You're just fuel for the fuel only choice for my freedom. <laughs> Don't know if this is gonna work. Dang. Didn't work. Wow, that mass manipulation. Uh. So two and two. Still feel pretty good about the deck. Um, maybe I don't bring in. Maybe I don't bring in duress in that matchup. No, I should bring in duress in that matchup. I I want to be able to play the campaign still. I still want to be able to fit in disinformation campaigns, but I just don't really know how. Um, for that matchup. Mass manipulation was certainly a killer. That's a tough one. Um, yep. Yeah, you'd, you'd certainly need the four sweepers. Like, are you talking about in the main deck, Matthew? Like, like do we need Cry and Sid in the main deck? Like, is, you absolutely do. The thing about... So, okay, so we're playing Thought Erasure and Disinformation Campaign. These cards don't affect the battlefield. They affect, they affect hands, but they don't affect the battlefield. So while the opponent's playing, like, Merfolk Branchwalker and Jade Light Ranger, and, like, the opponents are playing creatures that are on the battlefield, we're going to be very far behind. Like, Search for Us can't do the same thing. We have, like, our early turns are, are um, and even Discovery, same thing. Our early turns, for the most part... Um, besides the Lava Coil and Bedevil, we're not playing things that affect the battlefield. And so we're behind all of the time with this deck because of cards like Campaign and Erasure while we're setting up with those. So we, you need big sweeping effects. We, we certainly need all four sweepers. Um, absolutely. You, you need sweepers in your deck because of that. It's the kind of thing that, honestly, five sweepers would be better. Uh, but you need, you need at least four. But I'd be more comfortable with five. It's that's just kind of a, a thing. If if you're playing if you're playing like Thought Erasure Discovery decks, it's something that's a problem with like Esper Midrange. Um, the Esper Midrange people are playing Thought Erasure's Discoveries, but not very many sweepers. And when you're playing these kind of things that don't affect the battlefield, you're going to be behind, and you need you need other powerful effects that that catch you up uh, with Ritual and Cry. And things like that. Um, I, I honestly really like Angrath uh, in the metagame. And I'm not not that big on Rao. I could certainly see taking out one Angrath for a Rao. I could certainly see getting to that point. But, um, you know, obviously how that last game played out, Rao would have been better than Angrath. That doesn't mean that I, I think that Rao is better in the deck than Angrath, though. I've been very happy with Angrath all the time. Um, so there we go. So that was Grixis discard for the second day. Didn't do as, as well as yesterday. Um, but, you know, like, sometimes the games happen where, like, the cards don't line up. You know, like, our opponent uh, drew very well in both of those games, and especially that mass manipulation that certainly killed us. Um, but there we go. All right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, again, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm sending in the link to the YouTube channel here in chat right right now. Um, if you want to see, uh, go to the channel there. If you miss any of the decks, if you want to see the replays, uh, we did a lot better with the deck yesterday. Um, you know, our cards lined up. Um, better for us yesterday, but this is still a, a strong deck in my opinion. Nexus is not banned in best of three. Nexus is banned in, in uh, best of one. And uh, I think the weakness to enchantments with the deck is like, that's like a good, 
I think that's the reason, another good reason to play on Mordigo, to be able to get a Wilderness Reclamation and Guild Summit and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's very, very possible that uh, maybe like the duress in the sideboard is a little overkill and I need some more things against aggro, uh, you know, against like model red, model white, stuff like that. But, you know, we, we barely lost to mono red today and then had that mass manipulation stuff happen. Uh, but maybe, maybe the duress is, is a little overkill with, with the other things. That'd be the, the card. Uh, if, if we want to change stuff up, the two duress is, those are the the two cards in the sideboard, that if, if there's anything that you wanted to change about it, those would be the two slots to change. You can't play Sinister Sabotage and Disinformation Campaign in the same deck. You're just you're just going to lose all the time. You just can't do it. Um, if, you, if you play a Disinformation Campaign on turn three, then you're just going to be behind on the battlefield, and your Sinister Sabotage is not going to help you catch up. Like, while you're while you have your campaign, your your sabotage in your hand, you're just going to be be getting killed. If you keep sinister sabotage on turn three, um, and you counter stuff, then your disinformation campaign later on uh, isn't going to do as much because then your opponent's not going to have like the card in hand, kind of thing. Um, they just don't work well together. It's just not not something you want to be doing. It will. The word that a lot of people will say is like clunky. It'll make your deck feel very clunky if you try putting those together in the same deck. You just it's hard to have that you know, more and more three mana spells that don't again affect the battlefield. So So there we go. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.